Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. Today I'm going to teach you a real game changer, the magic knot. We're going to head straight into the tutorial and then after that I'll talk a bunch more about it. For this tutorial I have two different colors, the blue and the peach. I cross them over and I make sure these tails are long so I have plenty to work with. Now, I take the peach, bring it over the blue, wrap it around it. It comes back up and we make a knot with just the peach. And pull it. I don't pull it tight yet, I usually wait till both knots are made. Now, we take the blue over the peach, bring it around the peach, and we're going to make a knot with itself. And pull that secure. Now I take the long ends and I pull it till the knots meet. Now is when I like to make these extra tight. So I take the short ends and I pull them so they're real tight. Sometimes you got to pull on the long ends just to make sure those little knots are butted up right up against each other. And at first it seems interesting, like how can these stay together when you cut them? But they do, especially when I use the magic knot on the drive band for the great wheel. That's under a lot of pressure and it stays together. All right, I've secured that a bunch. Now it's really handy to have a small, sharp, pointy pair of scissors so you can trim very close. I'm just going to trim these little bits so they look real nice. And then we'll trim the peach one. And there you go. There's your little itty bitty magic knot that's nice and secure. All right, so you see how nice the magic knot can be. I have it included on the playlist of game changers because it was a game changer for me. I've been knitting for 23 years and I just learned the magic knot last year when I bought the great wheel and I wanted my drive band to have a nice teeny little invisible knot that would not come clunking through every time when I was using the great wheel. So when I learned that, I'm like, this is fabulous because it can come into play in so many good ways in different projects. Uh, okay, so I have some great examples here for you. The simplest one is this lovely Louisa Harding wrap. Takes two skeins. Look at the color change, fabulous. When I added the extra ball, I just did a magic knot. Can't even see it, kept on crocheting. Now I don't have two ends to weave in in the middle. So that's fabulous. You don't have to weave in as many ends. We all love that. Then I bought this fantastic Feza all natural yarn. What intrigued me is that it's the same shade of color, but it's all variety of yarns running through it. It's fantastic. So when I started to make it up into a cake, I realized each of the types of yarn were knotted together in these big, ugly knots. And I thought, well, I'm not going to be weaving in eight ends throughout, you know, because I think there's like eight different types of yarn in here. So what I did is I went through and made a regular yarn ball. And every time the yarn changed, I did a magic knot. That itself was time consuming, but I knew what I was getting into and I knew later when I'm knitting the project, which I'm doing right now, I can just keep on going. So it's kind of fun because the yarn is changing as I'm going and that's always what's exciting about if you do color changes or yarn changes, it's like, yay, it keeps it different. So yeah, put in the time and then it was just easier. Another time it's been really helpful is, you know, when you're using a really nice yarn and you're in the middle of a long row and all of a sudden a knot comes up, you're like, what the heck? Well, now you can just trim it on either side, do the magic knot and keep knitting. And 
you really don't see it. Now I suppose if it was a really fine yarn or a really light color, maybe you would. So you use your own discretion. But I find in the things I've done it with, I do not see the knots. It's just great. And I think once you know the magic knot, you'll use it so much, I do, in so many helpful ways. So have fun with that. All right, so let's talk Patreon. For one, two, three dollars a month, if you are enjoying this programming, I invite you to join Patreon. You can find it on my website, rehashfiber.com, and any amount helps. All right, happy magic knot making, and thanks for watching.